Hi there, people. Because I have absolutely no screen recording programs available to me, I'm going to have to do this the old and crappy way, which is actually literally recording my screen. Now this is going to be incredibly irritating, probably going to look kind of weird, and be really low quality, but you know, I don't really care, so let's do this. I'm going to play Rocco-chan, which is a Mega Man fan game, which is easily available on any browser that supports Flash, which I am pretty sure is every browser ever. So, let's go ahead and play this. I'm going to watch the intro, which normally I skip. So, you know. AD20XX, because of course, time is weird. In Professor Thane's lab, the invention of a robot with a human memory was taking place. Nice beard, goatee, whatever. Gasp. Eyes. Who knew? Daddy? My baby, you recognize me? The experiment is successful! Yeah, it's not like you can just say, recognize this face. Meanwhile... Oh, hey, look, destruction on the screen. Why was that even there? Robots run the world have gone out of control, and an unknown scientist named Dr. Man has declared war on the world. Mr. Thane, I'm sorry, but he has better facial hair than you. Dad, with the power I have now, I think I might be able to stop those robots. What? No way, it's too dangerous. I didn't give you this gun for any killing. I can hear the world people suffering as we speak. I have to go. No, wait. Hockey, volcano, jet, rolling, lightning, forest. What's up, Dr. Mad? You actually have some pretty BA robots right here. Can I borrow some, please? Traditional shoot the screen thing. Alright, so in case you have somehow not realized this, this is based on the NES game. Since I've beaten it before, I can go to the challenges and listen to the music and stuff. Let's see, just making sure that a water mode is off. Anyway, new game. Now, as you can see, it's actually kind of based on the original Mega Man one with having only six bosses. Now, Hockey Man's stage is kind of irritating because it's ice, but he's one of the easier bosses, easier to predict. Volcano Man isn't too hard, but he's one of the, the hardest one that I can beat without really having to use anything. Jet Man is a dick. Rolling Man, eh, he's just weird. Forest Man is... I can never predict this guy. I'm not sure how to dodge him, so I can only beat him by attritioning him to death with his weakness, which is naturally Volcano Man's open. Lightning Man is, in my opinion, one of the easiest bosses, but since I always go through Lightning Man first, I think I'm going to go to Hockey Man stage first. So, let's do this! Now, anyone who's actually played a Mega Man game will soon notice that I can in fact dash, as I've been showing off right here. Fuck bunnies. Anyway, you know, that gives me memories of Wood Man's stage. Was that the one with the bunnies? Hi, Polar Bear. Those Polar Bears throw... That is a Penguin Missile! It explodes! Okay, you know what, screw it. It's also hard to hit. And these are the equivalents of those jumper things from the original Mega Man game and were, like, reincarnated in every game afterwards. Suck little things that are on the ground, you're like a hockey puck now or something. As with the other games, they speed up when you get near them. As usual, there is an ice block thing that you have to have the fire weapon to break. They're like tellies, those enemies that spawn there, like tellies, except they're not. Penguin missiles. Lives are pretty easy to come by, actually. Do to do ice stages. And here we have a mini boss. What Mega Man game does not have large enemies that are mini boss type things? Luckily, this one is really. Oh, ow. Right, yeah. Where are you even fitting those ice cubes, Mr. Freezer? Wondering here. Look, just. Whoa, it is dead. Alright, that is one of those lives, one ups that, you know, you look at and it's like. I have a chance of getting that and dying, so actually, if you go to get it, then you actually don't really lose anything in the process. Bunnies! Are my arch nemesis. This ladder looks kind of unsafe. What's up, polar bears? I see that you have actually reached a point where you can survive longer than I can, faster than I can kill you. Unfortunately, your snowball weaponry is rather useless. What's up, stars? Yay! Should've known they were waiting to ambush me up. Penguins! In the sky! Yeah, hey, polar bear. What's up, Pocky Pock? Sup, 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 sup. Sup, rabbit, sup, penguin, sup, sup, sup. Why are you the- you weren't there! Ow. Okay, you know 
what? Screw you, because I'm in the, that poor boss checkpoint. Hockey Man is not one of the harder bosses in the game, although he can still be kind of tricky. I'm probably going to suicide, because fighting a robot man... Oh, crap. <laughs> I will take this time to display what I have learned about it. Hockey Man has three basic attacks. He'll ram the wall and bounce off, ram the wall with his ice shield active and reflect ice things everywhere, and throw a hockey puck, which makes dodging his other attacks irritating. He can predict whether he's going to bounce or not by whether he activates a shield beforehand, and you can usually just dash and jump over him if he does. It can be kind of disconcerting to try and predict he's going to do one thing and accidentally see he's actually not. And in fact, those hockey pucks can get really irritating if you don't know the right times to, you know, jump them out. Now, I'm pretty sure that that shield hitting you is just a fact of life. If you, sometimes it'll hit you, but it won't hit you enough to change the way life works. And hey, what do you know? Hockey Man is dead. <laughs> Sadly, you do not get a little demonstration like in some of the later Mega Man games, but the Ice Shield is predictably a fairly effective shield that only uses energy when you activate it. And it is effective against Volcano Man because everyone knows that ice beats lava, right? Right? Though, Sub Volcano Man, you look like. Um. I'm not sure what you look like, actually. But just for the sake of being a fool, I am going to fight him with, instead of the ice shield, the ro ro rock -a buster yeah. Which, among other things, means that I'm going to be using up all my ice shield energy before I even actually get there. But, you know, who cares? Funnily enough, this is a game where the disappear appear blocks are not evil. I mean, sure, there are spikes here, but no one's really going to be hurt by them. <sighs> right. I don't like these little fire things, because I can never break God damn it. It's fairly obvious this song is somewhat inspired by Solar Man State from MM10. Now, there is one of these annoying enemies up there, which will, you know, charge. Whoa, I haven't been hit yet, have I? Sup, 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 sup. Diamond ladders, like it ain't no thing. And here's where you realize that even the most irritating enemies in the game can usually just be rushed with the Mega Buster. And also that dashing while jumping actually makes you jump lower. Now, this game also has some n totally not Metools. Nope, not at all Metools. As you can see, I just, you know, stole one's life thing. Uh, thanks for breaking my perfect record fire charging wheel thing. Uh, lava. Uh, actually, I don't think about it, that could just be molten metal. I mean, there's not really much of a difference for all things concerned, but you know difference in my heart. And here is a type of room which only appears one other place in the game, and is really quite... First death. Sup, sup, early checkpoint. I really hate early checkpoints. They really irritate me. Oh, come on! Didn't I just... Oh, that's another thing this game's Metuals have sadly not perfected. The technique of standing and staying under your shell when you're being constantly shot at, which was one of the things that made other Metuals actually kind of difficult to deal with, because you couldn't just spam at them. 9 and 30, 9 and 30 seconds, what do you know? Noticed I am a horrible speaker yet already? Sub, 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 sub. Some days I just like to watch the robots hop in and out of the boiling lava slash metal. You know, anyway. Incidentally, in this game, the power ups don't reappear until you've actually game over it, so the power up that was up there isn't there. Sub metal. As you can see, it's very easy to rush them too, like I was talking about earlier. 
I like being able to jump and get things that are out of screen because, oh god. <laughs> Useless one-ups division! Screw this crap. I'm just going to rush through and rush. Oh god, no. What's up? Sure do love all this weapon energy. As with most shields, the ice shield's actually not all that effective in this level, bar the little hoppy things, which does mean it'll come very much in handy in the very final stretch. I'm very sorry about not really talking about much, but you know, what can I talk about? The vivacity of the yellows in this level? I don't even like yellow! Or orange. The red's cool, though. I don't like that gray, either. Okay, what is it with sudden life syndrome? Because I get so many lives from this game. It's like, it's like... It's like they just can't wait to deposit their life in the form of easily collected cool meta Mega Man heads, except they aren't Mega Man heads, they're Rocco-chan heads. And stuff. What's up? I love being able to predict where the enemies are gonna be. Like right there. And I also like waiting here because the lava can't actually kill me up here, you know, so. Convection! Who cares about convection? And here we are in the very final stretch. Do -do 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 Volcano Man is a very simple robot master. He has like three different attacks that he launches when he's on either side of the room and then he hops to the other and shoots at you in the middle. Now, I'm going to fight him first with the ice shield just to prove how utterly pathetic it makes him. Oh, right, that destroys it. Then I will die and fight him with the actual rock man. So, none of his projectiles actually do anything while you're doing this. So you can just get to a pattern of doing what I'm doing right now. See how sad this is! Alright, now I'm out of weapons ammo, so I'm just gonna let him kill me, yeah. If you're trying to suicide faster, remember that contact damage from a robot master is always extreme compared to anything else. Alright, now to fight him normally. As you can see, he's very pattern-based, which means that it's really not that hard to beat him. boss theme is alright. It's certainly fitting, at least. This is the one attack he has that I have a slight trouble dodging sometimes. But, you know, it seems that I have perfected it pretty much. Yeah, almost got no damage. But as you can see, the dash really changes the way you fight bosses up. It makes dodging much, much easier. And basically, without dash, I probably would not have been able to do that. Volcano Man's weapon is your standard shoot and explodes weapon, which will come very much in handy against some swarms of enemies, and also pretty useful just in general because it's like a standard buster shot only exploding, and hits some things multiple times. Well, I'm slightly over 14 minutes now, so see y'all next time.